Okay YouTube, today I will be showing you a very short and quick and informative video tutorial on how to turn any one of your videos into the YouTube Shorts video format. Now keep in mind, in order for this to work, your video slash clip must be one minute or less, so it has to be under 60 seconds. And in today's video we will be using Vegas Pro 19. However, this should also work on older and previous versions of Vegas Pro. Of course, the second I start recording this tutorial, my hot water tank kicks in, so please just ignore that. So step number one, we're going to import our video clip here. I'm just going to select a random clip from one of my bicycle touring trips. So once you have that imported, I always, for myself personally, I personally I like to right click, go to my video properties, disable resample, you can copy all these here, maintain aspect ratio, I also like to reduce interlace flicker. I go to my media tab and for my color range I always like to have that set to full, full range RGB. Now once again that is optional. I also like to make sure that my bypass motion blur is also checked. Now in order for this to be a YouTube short, we have to match its aspect ratio and its video properties. I always also like to have my video preview set to best and set to full. Now this is really where the tutorial starts. We need to go to our project video properties here. For the width of our video, we must set that to 1080. And for the height of the video, it must be set to 1920. So basically these two, these two properties right here are set to reverse. Go ahead and hit apply. All these here I also like to have them set full range RGB, um, my full resolution video quality, rendering quality, so I like to have that set to best. And for my audio quality I always like to use 24 bit depth and always have the sample rate set to best. Go ahead and hit apply. Go to the beginning here. We're going to right click and insert a new video track. We're also going to bypass motion blur. For our video, we're going to hover over it, left click it, hit control C, go above it, go to the beginning, and hit control V. So basically you're duplicating this video track and copying it onto another video track. You can go ahead and delete the secondary audio track because that is not needed. Next we're going to go to event pan slash crop right click this and hit match output aspect ratio we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for the bottom layer right click match output aspect ratio we're going to go back to the top video layer here we need to crop this out just a little bit because this is a YouTube short we do not want to have it cropped in with the original video aspect ratio so go ahead and do that you can adjust, you can fine tune this and adjust this to your liking. We do not need to do that to the bottom video track. However, what we need to do next, we need to go to your video effects tab and we need to find where it says, where are we here? Gaussian blur, hover to where it says medium blur. You're going to take and drag that onto your bottom video clip. So as you can see, the background of the bottom video clip here is blurred out. Let me show you before and after. That's how it looked before, and that's how it needs to look afterwards. Let's make this full screen here. So you can see the, the background portion of the video is blurred out. It just makes it look a little bit more appealing for the YouTube short format. Now this part here is also optional. I like to have a border applied to both the top and bottom video layer for this YouTube short video format. Now I have two custom presets. I'm going to go ahead and do the top layer first and then do the bottom layer. Feel free to copy and save these as your own personal presets. So for the YT shorts top layer is what I call it. The type is going to be blurred and the size of this is going to be 0.015 that just softens up these video corners there let me show you that's without it that is with it 
Now for the bottom layer, it is a different preset. We're going to go ahead and drag that. Feel free to copy this. The type is blurred. However, the size is a little bit less. It's 0 0.005. It adds a softening layer around the border of the video. That's what, that's what it looks like without it. And that's what it looks like with it. Now, folks, we are almost ready to render our video. As a matter of fact, we are ready to render this video into the YouTube Shorts format. Go to your Render As tab in whichever version of Vegas Pro you're using. Now, for me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card. It's a 12 gig card. It's the Titan X, so it's a very strong, powerful video processing card. So for myself, I like to go to the Magix HEVC slash AAC MP4. And of course, I do have a format set for this, a preset. You want to go to your customized template here. This part is super important, where it says your custom frame size. Make sure your width is set to 1080 and your height must be set to 1920. The rest here is self-explanatory and is optional. It depends on how you like to render your video. I, Because my video, what I imported originally is a 24 frames per second timeline, I did not need to render it at 50 frames per second. I'm going to match the video FPS, which is set to 24 in my case. Your video might be set to 60p, 60 frames per second, so you can just go ahead and leave that at 59940. However, my video is 24 frames per second, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. Field order, none, progressive scan, pixel aspect ratio set to 1. And for myself, I always like to use a constant bit rate. You can use a variable bit rate. For myself personally, for all my YouTube videos, no matter if they're long or short, I always use the constant bit rate. Uh, this goes all the way up to 700 megabytes per second but for a YouTube short you don't need 700 so 10 megabytes per second for a YouTube short should do it. Now my encoder mode I have set to NV because like I mentioned I'm using an NVIDIA graphics card here. My preset I like to use high quality and for the RC mode CBR dash high quality that's the constant bitrate high quality. For the audio, this is very simple, self-explanatory. It's up to you. Include my audio. I only have one audio track here. The sample rate is default, which is 48,000 48, kilohertz. The bit rate is set to 256,000. Now, project here, I always like to set my color range output to full range. That's full range RGB, red, green, blue. So the color and the background and the bit depth, everything about the video, is how I shot it pretty much. In my video rendering quality, I like to have it set to best. So go ahead and hit OK. You can save this as a preset. Right here, I have it set to YT Shorts. Go ahead and name your video. I'm gonna just call this YT Shorts. Go ahead and click Render. Now, based upon your video frame rate, your audio bit depth, your video might render a little bit sooner than mine. It might render a little bit longer than mine. See, this was rendered quite quickly here. So we're gonna open my folder here, and we're gonna see how it turns out. All right, so there we yeah. have it. You can see the border, how I softened up the edges there. Well, here we and are. right now, that is currently how you On render and Canada take any Korean. one of your normal videos. This video, which I just did right here, was a originally a 1920 by 1080p. So a 1080p video shot in 24 frames per second. I took that and I did an aspect ratio of 1080 by 1920 to match the YouTube Shorts video and aspect ratio. So that's very, very simple. That is exactly how you can take any one of your videos and turn them into a YouTube Shorts. I hope this tutorial was nice and simple for you. I hope I didn't talk too much. I didn't make it drag off for too long. But that is how you take your video and pretty much make it into a YouTube Shorts. Folks, thank you for watching. Drop a comment down below. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully I'll see you all in the next video.